guys, Kim here on the Unity Blend channel. I've got some really exciting information that I'm definitely looking forward to sharing with you. Today's topic is your Poshmark tips and strategies because these tips that I'm going to be sharing with you today don't actually come from me. They're coming from another Poshmark on the app who I have been actually communicating with over the last couple of weeks. So I think you're going to want to hear this. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, these tips are actually coming from another Pasha that I have been talking with on the app. She actually is a subscriber to the channel and um, has given me a lot of great feedback and a lot of positivity, which I love. Um, her closet name is at Crystal17044, so you'll see it on the screen. And she had shared with me a strategy that has been working with her pretty well. Um, and what she calls it is sort of like this big fish share strategy. We all know that on the app, the key to being successful is obviously sharing your listings and sharing other listings from other closets. But she kind of takes that 10 steps further um, and really maximizes on this every single day. Now, before I go into the strategy itself, I think it is important to note that we always want to know that the proof is in the pudding, right? If I'm sharing a strategy with you, you want to know, is it actually beneficial? Is it working? Well, I can say, based off Crystal's stats, they do seem to be working. Now, she actually joined Poshmark back in 2016, but didn't actively start listing items in her closet until January of 2017. So since then, I'm looking at some notes that I have here. She does have over 90,000 shares, about 34,000 followers. What I think is really cool though, is that she averages anywhere from one to three sales a day. And then on the weekends, Friday through Sunday, she actually averages anywhere between six and 15 sales. Now, I know for mega postures who've been on the app for a long time and have, you know, 400,000 followers, hey, they probably get that all the time, right? But she's a fairly new posture, and to have that sort of consistency in sales is indicative that she's doing something right. And she does attribute a big part of her success to this sharing strategy that she just shared with me. Um, so we talked a little bit about her stats. Going back to that, um, she does have close to about $41,000 in sales so far, and obviously that number that dollar amount is is growing on a daily basis. I think it is important to note that as much as she shares other closets, she also realizes the importance of self-share. So she does share her own closet listings at least three times a day. So it is a nice balancing act. However, I would say based off her stats and the strategy that she shared with me, she really is focusing on um, the big fish share strategy that I'm going to share with you. So. What she basically does is she goes into other people's closets and she clicks on their shares. And if she sees that the person shares multiple items from one person's closet, she is actually going to share multiple items of their closet. So let's say she goes into my closet. She looks into my shares. She, see, she sees that maybe I shared five items from one posture's closet. So she's going to go in and share at least five of my items. Now I asked her on average how many shares she'll do per closet. She says it ranges, but the minimum is five, but she can go up to 40 depending on the closet. And so, you know, I know that this is a controversial subject. Some people um, really aren't interested in sharing other listings. They're really just interested in self shares or people um, kind of do the onesie twosie. Uh, maybe because they don't have a lot of time to do mass shares like Crystal does. But I would have to say if you're really serious about Posh and wanting to move your inventory forward and you're fairly new on the app, this is a pretty cool strategy that I think she's implemented. And so, again, she just goes in, looks to see how many shares the person has. Typically, they do have a lot of shares. And if she sees that they're sharing multiple listings, she's going to do the same with their closet. And it kind of saves her time, believe it or not, because the benefits of her doing that is that it's obviously grabbing the attention of the posture. I mean, if someone shared five or 10 or 20 of your listings, you're in the minimum going to at least take a look at their closet and hopefully reciprocate. Um, and so the idea so much isn't that that particular posture sees something they like and purchase something, although that's great when it happens, 
the whole point obviously is to gain more visibility so that they reciprocate and share several of her listings to their followers and um, when you do it you do notice that the number of notifications dramatically increases in a relatively short period of time and inevitably some of those notifications are likes um, so I've been trying this strategy out too and I have noticed that you know the number of notifications creep up pretty quickly um, and I do get a lot of likes that way so I think that's really interesting um, the other thing that I'm going to do is kind of walk you through what this may potentially look like for you um, so that you have a, a better idea of how it works so if we want to be successful there's no shame in trying strategies at least once to see if they work for you again I know everyone's a little bit different um, but I thought I'd share this strategy with you so that you could test it out let me know what you think um, leave it up to you to decide feel free to reach out to Crystal as well give her your feedback or ask her any questions that you may have um, and again her closet name is crystal 17044 and I promise you that if you share some of her listings she's definitely going to share them back um, so that's great and um, a couple of other things I want to mention she shared two other strategies with me um, and I'm going to make a separate video for those two strategies but to give you sort of a sneak peek she has devised a way for one for you to get um, a specific email notification whenever you get a Poshmark email it involves an app that she has downloaded um, which I'll go into on my next video but the bottom line is you don't have to be active on the app to get these notifications she has a special ringtone for those um, for those specific emails I think that's pretty cool uh, the other uh, strategy she shared with me is how to kind of work around not having access to natural light um, I'm a big proponent of using natural light but I also understand that there are restrictions you might have a really busy schedule and the only time you can take pictures is at night so you don't have access to sunlight um, and so she's got a really affordable effective way around that that I want to share with you too so hopefully this is something that you will test out again it's all about figuring out what works for you and uh, drop a line down below give me some feedback give it a thumbs up if you like it and definitely uh, follow me on Poshmark and I look forward to talking to you guys really soon all right have a good one Scout what life's about And when we rendezvous I'll know we've been around You walk in your high heels Across the old minefield We're rolling and skipping Hoping and wishing that we both make it out But I can't